All right, Tuesday, that iffy day is in the rear view mirror. You've oh, got yeah. great stuff Things ahead. Things are looking good. Yeah, we're on the glide path now, <laughs> right on into the weekend. Just like a gyro gyrocopter. <laughs> We have a lot of events going on on Saturday. One of them is one we're sponsoring, Walk MS 2015 at Julie Davis Park, Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon. Looking good, sunshine at the start, 52 degrees, maybe a few high clouds around noontime, temperature about 59 degrees. And of course, if you want something a little bit more challenging, how about the toughest race in the Northwest? That's Race to Roby Creek, Fort Boise Park to Roby Creek on Saturday. Starts at high noon. And here's what you're looking at. We have uh, somebody on our staff running in it, and he's uh, watching those temperatures. Might be a tad warm towards the latter part of the race. Usually when you're running like that, you like something maybe in the uh, 50s. But uh, we'll be pushing 60 degrees by, excuse me, 70 degrees by the end of the race for many people. All right, two more chilly mornings, light winds, and some warmer temperatures for today, and some nice days heading into the weekend. As far as the chilly temperatures, here's why you don't want to plant your crops just yet in the Boise area. Many people say that uh, when you don't see any snow up there at Bogus Basin, that's usually a good time, but that's probably not correct because as uh, evidenced by the last couple mornings, we have temperatures uh, pretty close to the freezing mark. So if you have some temperature sensitive plants, you might have lost them if you didn't bring them inside or cover them up. But uh, by May 8th, you're in pretty good shape. There's still about a 50% chance of having a temperature of 32 degrees or below, but you're in good shape if you wait until later in May. Here's a live look outside downtown Boise and a clear sky out there with a the clear skies 32 degrees. Winds are light and the feels like temperature with those light winds at 32 degrees. Here's our long term computer model looking way out. We have a low pressure system and that will be pushing up into Alaska. No real effect on our weather. Here's what will affect our weather. This high pressure ridge that will be moving into the western U.S. On Sunday, there's Sunday in the early morning hours and it'll be right over us as we head into Monday into Tuesday and clouds will be pretty scarce. Here's our current situation. We have some, still some lingering snow showers in eastern Idaho and also areas of northern Utah getting some snow. We have uh, an avalanche warning in effect for the mountains along the Wasatch Front. You can see this low pressure system will continue to spin and slowly move to the southeast. That could create some severe weather in uh, the Texas area, Texas Panhandle, also to the south in San Antonio and Austin, and uh, possibly some flash flooding in the deep south like Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. But our story is this high pressure ridge building in and pretty much a cloud free sky. We will see a little disturbance track right along the Rockies and move off to the southeast, but we're looking at uh, clear skies and a nice little warming trend. Temperatures warming up into the mid 60s for today, then we'll be dipping back down into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. But the real warming kicks in on Friday into the lower 70s. So here's what we're looking at as far as our forecast for the Boise area. First off, we're looking at sunny and warmer conditions for Twin Falls for Sun Valley, sunny and warmer. And for McCall, you're looking at uh, daytime highs pretty close to 60 degrees. And for us, there's that warming trend. 70s throughout the weekend, breezy and warm Saturday and Sunday. Looks like our warmest day Tuesday. Kelsey?